Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you the initial setups of Easy Keynoter for Autodesk Revit 2015. Once you've installed Easy Keynoter and started Revit you'll notice a floating palette in the Revit user interface. First up I'm going to drag and drop that and dock it with the other palettes in Revit and I'm going to then click inside it to refresh the size of it. You'll notice it's blank because we haven't assigned it to the Keynote database yet, which is a, a, a one-time setup. If I go to the Annotate tab, Keynotes and Keynote settings, you'll see that this project has a default Revit Keynote file attached to it, a .txt file. To set up Easy Keynoter, I'm going to click on this top bu button where it says click here to run the setup wizard and I'm going to step through it. Because Easy Keynoter relies on a database to store the information, we need to tell Easy Keynoter where that database location is going to be. I'm going to put it for this demonstration just on my desktop in a folder called Easy KN. But if you were to share that with any other users in your company, you would obviously put that in a network location where the end user has full read-write capability. I'm now going to click Next and we're going to create an initial project. So for this I'm going to call it Master Keynote Project. Go OK and click Next. Now we have the option of either starting from scratch or importing an existing Keynote text file. I'm going to do the import in this demonstration I'm going to search for one that we've used before, probably a company standard. I've selected it, now I go next and that imports that Keynote database, Keynote text file into the database. I click on finish and now you'll see the familiar um, population of the Keynotes in the Easy Keynote user interface. If we go over to the Keynote settings, you'll notice that it's also changed in here and if we go view, it's automatically populated the Keynote within Revit. So we could now Keynote as normal or we can use the Easy Keynote user interface to drag and drop Keynotes onto the selected elements. This will be demonstrated in another video coming soon. Once you've set up the project, you'll notice that this is using the master key project. I um, am going to right -click, mouse, mouse click here and go to project and restart the project wizard. And it has a few different options this time. We can create a new keynote project or a link to an existing one or copy an existing project or delete the existing project. What I'm going to do is copy this existing master keynote project and I'm going to call it a new name called demonstration and OK and click on next and click on finish. Now this is a direct copy of our master keynote project but now called demonstration so I can add, remove, delete, edit different keynotes and it won't affect the master template project. So to do that again I can go right mouse click projects, start the project wizard and now we've got two projects in there. Just going to cancel that. And that is the basics of setting up Easy Keynoter for first time use within Autodesk Revit 2015.